Hi folks, this is Jack Spearkin with another survival podcast video uh, for the uh, product review showcase. And uh, my review in Scheinerbach uh, Black Ale today, Bohemian Lager. No. Uh, to do this review, honestly, I needed a beer. Um, because uh, it's going to be such a negative review. You won't see a lot of negative reviews from me, and after you see this one, you'll realize I don't have a lot of problems saying bad things about stuff. Just for me to do a five to eight minute video will take me about an hour of work. So generally, if something sucks, I just tell you it sucks on the show, and I don't talk about it. But I've had a lot of questions about um, the Cato Voyager radio, and I looked at it in the online literature, and I thought, this seems like a pretty cool little thing. So I went out and bought one, and I've had a lot of harassment from one listener in particular. Go ahead and do this review. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. I spent almost 60 bucks on this thing with shipping and all, and it is uh, $60 that probably would have been better spent on some nice black lager. But uh, I spent it here, so let's talk about this device. Let me try, try to tell you what I like about it first and, and be as nice as I can. Number one, when you pick it up, it feels well built. I can't say the same for the accessories. I'll talk about those in a second. But overall, the body of the radio is well built for what it is. Nice little carrying strap. Um, I like the light in the front of it. I don't like the little switch you have to get to to turn it on, but that white light is, uh, is really bright. It handles and, and carries a lot like a lantern flashlight, whereas something like my little Grundig, which I actually like a lot better as an emergency radio, you know, that light is kind of in the front. It doesn't carry as nice. Then it has what's called an SOS feature. Now, blink, 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 blink. As you can see, it's a blinking red light that's messed my eyes up a little bit by looking at it now. Now, I don't know about you, but if I'm sending an SOS, I would really like to be seen as far away as possible, and that white light's a lot brighter. So why it blinks red, I don't know. But it also just blinks, 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 blinks the same frequency. Now, that's not an SOS. SOS is dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. So the automatic SOS is, is pretty much useless. I think you'd be better off um, going with the white light and signaling with your hand, controlling the duration of each exposure. Right, something like that. So the SOS is all but useless. It also has what's called an LED light bar. Now this I do like. Uh, this is very bright. I've actually uh, decided since I paid for this thing, I might as well get some use out of it. So I use it with normal batteries. We'll talk about the crank and the solar in a second. Um, and I use it when I cook burgers at night or what have you. It starts to get dark out. So I sit on the side of my grill. I have the radio playing, and I set it like that, and I can see very, very well. So the LED light bar is really nice. Now, what I don't like about the switch for that light, it's in a little hole right here. It's hard to actuate unless you have fingernails. I'm a man. I don't grow my fingernails long. Uh, it's also open so that I can look in it. I can actually see the circuit board in there. So even a little bit of rain or overspray water. I don't expect this thing to be waterproof and float, but my God, you're opening up all the electrical workings to any rain or water whatsoever. So that's a problem. What else don't I like about it? Well, let's just talk about using the, the heck with the, uh, the battery, the uh, crank and the solar and the rechargeable battery, the regular batteries. I live in Arlington, Texas. There's a million radio stations around here. I'd say several of the radio stations that I like to listen to, and I'm a country western guy, I can't even get them to come in right on this radio. It has terrible reception. It only gets maybe half of the stations. That's with using the real batteries. If I switch over to the DC, I'm going to turn this off so we don't have to listen to it. If I switch over to the, uh, the chargeable battery, its reception gets even more poor, even when I get that battery to what I think is fully charged. The, the solar panel is a nice addition. Um, what they tell you to do in the instructions when you buy this thing is set it in a window with that facing out, and you'll always keep your reserve battery charged. Even if you do that, you're going to get about 10 minutes maximum of battery life out of this thing before it won't pick up any radio stations at all. Let's talk about something else that it's supposed to do. This is uh, a little portable ham radio, um, and I have it set to one of our local weather stations. As you can hear, it's that terrible robot voice. But it comes in perfectly clear. There's three different ones. I can get all three of them to come in with this. When I turn this one on and I go to weather, and I get my seven different bands.
I get absolutely, positively nothing. None of the weathers, well, weather stations will come in. Shortwave, I can pick up one do talk in Spanish if I play with it long enough. I can't pick up anything on the other two short on the two shortwave bands across the spectrum of the dial. I know there's shortwave activity out here. I've played around and picked it up with this guy. Um, so that sucks too. Let's talk about one of the more innovative things with it that uh, was really one of the things that sold me on it. That's the ability to charge your cell phone. Well, it comes with this little accessory pack, and it's basically a USB-style connector on one end, and then you select the tip for your cell phone. And I can tell you right now, it's far from universal. It'll do a lot of popular cell phones, but there's only four tips. That's not going to charge every cell phone out there, I promise you. Um, the way this works is we have to first plug our cable in, and then once we get the cable plugged in, we have to switch from in to out for the charger because it has a DC input so you can charge it with DC or run it off of straight uh, AC-DC conversion uh, by plugging it into the wall. But guess what? For 60 bucks, you don't get the, the, the DC adapter uh, to plug into the wall. So uh, you have to switch it over to out. Now make sure once you switch it over to out before you use the other functions, you switch it back to in or it won't work. You'll think the battery is completely dead even if they're brand new. So now we've got that. We go ahead and we stick our cell phone on here. Now if that charged the phone, even with all this other crap, I'd still think this thing was pretty cool if I could go out and pop that little solar panel up and charge a phone with solar power. But it don't work that way. I can have a fully charged battery. I can have my uh, normal batteries, my triple A's, three triple A's put in there. That phone ain't going to charge. The only way I can get this phone to charge now is I've got to go open my crank, and I have to sit here, and I have to continue. And there's the phone charging now. And I have to continuously crank, and the second I stop cranking, the phone stops charging. So if I want to get enough charge to make a single call or two, I'm going to have to do an awful lot of cranking. That is how this device charges phones. It does not work the way that it seems to be implied. Now, to be fair to Emergency Essentials, who I bought this from, it does say in the literature that that is the case, but you better read it or you're not going to notice it. And let's face it, folks, you would believe, based on the way this thing is marketed and packaged, that it would charge your cell phone either with the uh, solar panel or with whatever is charged inside the device itself. AM works okay. I pretty much can pick up all the AM stations in the area, so I guess that works. Um, the NOAA alert um, doesn't work at all because you can't get the weather band to work in the first place for the, uh, the standard weather. Now, I know some of you may live in an area where your weather one works right, but this is dead center, middle, middle of Dallas, Fort Worth. There is no reason I shouldn't be able to pick up uh, at least a couple of the different weather bands with this radio. So um, what else can I say about it? It comes with a set of uh, earphones. Uh, these are absolutely the cheapest earbuds you'll ever get. I'm going to throw them away. I'm not even going to use those for any other devices. Um, those things are 99 cents at the dollar store, and they can't get rid of them. So I wish I could give you a better review of this. My view, and I'll do a review of this device later, if you're wanting a good emergency radio with a light source, hand crank, and regular battery options, uh, the Grundig FR200 is a better device. Again, a review will be coming about that. If you want a rechargeable light source, go get yourself a, you know, a shakeable or hand crank flashlight or get yourself an LED lantern. Uh, this all-in-one functionality, at least here, um, Cato has failed. This is not a good investment for $60. Uh, one of the people on the forum had a special buy on them for about $30. I wouldn't spend my $30 on it. Uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be a complete disaster. And let's be fair, maybe I got a lemon. Um, but antenna up, antenna down, I can't get good reception. Um, I can't get any of the uh, weather alert. Uh, it won't charge a cell phone unless I sit here and crank it. There's plenty of less expensive ways to do that. Um, just not the right investment. My advice, don't buy them. I'm not even putting a link to it on Amazon or anything like that in this review because I don't want to be responsible for your purchase of this device. I'm going to enjoy a beer, look for other options, and hopefully you've enjoyed this video.